What's up everybody, it's AJ with eTrail.com. Today we're gonna to be checking out this exposed rack, roof rack system on this 2013 Jeep Wrangler Unlimited. This is gonna be a good system, a roof rack that attaches to the rain gutters on your hard top. That way you don't have to drill any permanent holes or mess with the hard top at all. It easily goes on there and comes right back off when you don't want it. Let's check it out. If you have a Jeep Wrangler JL or JL Unlimited, or even a Jeep Gladiator, these exposed racks also have ones for those kind of tops too. You can find those on our website as well. If you look at the top of the bars, you're gonna see these square holes, and those are gonna be for accessories. Now, exposed racks has a bunch of different accessories. For example, this is gonna be a load stop. This is just one of the many, and how it's gonna work, much like the other accessories, is you push in this silver button here, you put it right there, in the square hole and it slides down and now it's in place. So it's that easy to attach those accessories and kind of customize the bars just like you would your own Jeep. Showing different examples of the accessories you can get with the exposed racks, these are gonna be the offset kayak carrier ones. They go in the same slots, much like all the other accessories. So from the load stops, the offset kayak carriers, to the center kayak carriers, to the paddle holders. You can even get a platform on the top that uses those same slots. Slides in there really easy, and you can take it off and replace them. So if you're constantly putting different stuff on your roof, this is a really good option because it's really easy to switch out those accessories. One negative side to this though, is that the brackets that are specifically for the JK and JK Unlimited are gonna cover up this bottom hole here at the end. So then you can't use accessories on the outer mouse ones because this bottom part's covered up and that button can't pop into place. So that does eliminate four of the holes you could use on the outsides. Now, even though all these on the end, you're not gonna be able to use, there's three usable slots here on the front and the rear bars, and they're gonna be 12 and a half inches apart from each other. So it gives you plenty of options when you are adding the accessories on where you wanna put them. The whole system is made out of a black powder coat steel, and it has a weight capacity of 165 pounds. So just keep that in mind when you're loading it up with your gear, that's how much you can put on there. Now to also help it out with weight distribution, as you have these feet here at the bottom, just in case you load it up and it starts to go down a little bit, it's gonna keep it from coming down on your roof because it's got this extra support. Now, if you need even further support, there's gonna be holes here underneath, you can get these feet, you can screw in, and that's gonna go on these top ridges here, just to add, again, more weight distribution, help out with those heavier loads on the roof. Let's go over some measurements real quick. The bar itself is gonna be 51 and a half inches long, and then we're gonna go from this ridge here to the top of the bar, it's gonna be two and a half inches. It's gonna to add to your roof. Then from the roof to the bottom of the bar is gonna be an inch and a quarter. And then the square bar itself is gonna be an inch and a quarter thick on all sides. Looking at the clamp, it's gonna be same, the same material as the bar up there. So it's that black powder coat steel. So you know it's gonna hold up to the rust and corrosion. It also holds everything nice and tight. I can shake the Jeep back and forth and there's no rattling whatsoever in the bar or in our foot here or the bracket here and the clamp down here. There's no movement or anything, so I like that, no rattling. It holds it really nice and tight together. You got the foam pads on the inside, so that's also, it's gonna be on the outside of this lip and on the inside of this one, so it's gonna protect that rain gutter from getting damaged or scratched. It's a good system that's gonna hold up really well. There are some other options out there for rain gutter roof racks, but this one, I kind of prefer the other ones just because it's got that black powder coat steel, like I mentioned, and not much else. It blends in with your hard top like this. It doesn't have, like some of the other ones have plastic pieces on the outside that kind of stick out a little bit more or kind of an eyesore. And the same thing with the wheel. Some of them have a wheel to tighten them down. So it's just big hand knob that's out here and just doesn't look right on top of the Jeep to me. I prefer this system. It looks factory and it's low key. If you're not interested in being low key and you want to kind of stand out or you just want to match your Jeep, you also can get an exposed roof rack in red. So if you have a red Jeep or you just wanted to stand out on your hardtop, that is an option. I mentioned earlier how easy it is to install and take back off when you don't need it. So it's much easier than drilling holes in your hardtop. This is gonna be pretty easy installation where you just kind of put it together a little bit on the table. Follow along with me and see how I did it. I've got some of the parts laid out on the table so I can show you how to assemble your crossbar with the bracket. Really easy. You take your bracket, you see the open side up top. Just gonna put that underneath there. And what we're gonna do is line up this slot with this hole here, because that's where the hardware is gonna go in. Now, before I do that real quick, I'm gonna need both hands over here. 
For the bolt that's going to go through there, I recommend using some anti-seize because it is stainless steel. And if you go to run that down with the stainless steel nut, it could get stuck. So we're going to take it now, run the bolt through this end. I'm going to put that hole, and you might have to push up a little bit on the bracket so it clears that hole to slide that bolt right through. Just like that. And we'll come back with our washer and lock washer and loosely put on the nut on this side. You wanna leave it loose because you wanna be able to slide this bracket back and forth once you get on the roof for adjustments. And that's good right there. Now we're ready to set it down on the roof. Make sure the tab is gonna go in the rain gutter just like that. Line that up on both sides. Make sure you keep the bar straight across and not angled. So I'm just trying to eyeball from here. Looks pretty straight. And then what we're gonna do is look at the side to side. So I'm gonna have to hop down and look, but make sure the bar is gonna be evenly spaced on each side. Now we're gonna pull out on this bracket just to get it lined up with the ring out of there. So I need to push it in. And that's the adjustment from side to side I was talking about. And that's why we left these loose in the first place. With a roof bar in a place, this would be a good time to measure from center to center where it is. Now, Exposed Racks recommends that you stay somewhere in 24 and 36 inches. So we're gonna go center, center here. Looks like I'm a little off on that one. Looks like 34 and a half inches. So we're right in where they say we could be. And make sure you check that on the other side before adding the feet. Now we're gonna come back and add our foot, our clamp to the bottom. So you're just going to put this on the bottom of the rain gutter here, line up with this part here, put the bolt and the lock washer up through that, and then start to hand tighten it. Once you get it started, you can come back with a tool and tighten it down further. Got a good start there. I can continue to tighten it down. When you're tightening this down, make sure you do it just enough to compress that foam there in the middle. You don't want to over tighten it. And the same thing is you want to jump back and forth and do this evenly. So you don't want to tighten down one side all the way and then go to the other one. It kind of jump back and forth, just make sure it evenly tightens down. Now, finally, we're going to come back and tighten up these bolts and the crossbars and the brackets. With all the tightened down, I always like to give it a good shake back and forth. You can see the Jeep is going back and forth. There's no rattling whatsoever in the pieces that we put together. So none here in the clamp, none here in the bracket, and none here in the rail. So it's gonna be nice and tight on your roof, on your travels. Well, I think it's gonna be really helpful to have with your Jeep. I like the aspect of easy to put on and take off, and you didn't have to drill any holes in your hard top. So I really like this system. I think it's gonna work out, especially if you go the accessory route and get those. Well, thanks for hanging out, and I hope this helped.